skip do Hey everybody! Oh do you remember me? I hope so. It's been a, a bit of a month. <laughs> it's been a bit since I've streamed. Hello and welcome back to Elden Ring. My name is Master Fong. My real name is Gavin. And I've got quite a lot to catch you all up on, I suppose. Nothing uh, big and beautiful, spectacular or amazing. Just things. Standard, run-of-the-mill, everyday things. Oh, there she is in her gargantuan splendor. Hello, Mama Lasagna. She is our muse for today. She is the subject of the content I will be putting forth. Where to start, guys, where to start? So, uh, we finished Dark Souls 2 about a month ago now. We finished that stream up just before Christmas. And, uh, let me, let me turn this way here. Let me swivel, swivel in your general direction for a bit of a chitty chat. Um, it was great. Dark Souls 2 was great, and then Christmas was great. I had a wonderful Christmas. I had a wonderful New Year's. We got to see friends that we haven't seen in years. Some of our best friends got engaged, so congratulations to them. Just, it was, it was great. The holidays were great. And then I got hit with the winters. And I usually don't get hit with the winters, so this was new for me, this was hard. Uh, we came back from our trip uh, right around January 2nd, and both me and Chelsea, we both got sick. And so that was just a week of feeling bad, hacking, coughing, the, the usual sickness, the terrible things to deal with. And so I, I put off streaming. Then, right on the tail end of getting better, our apartment comes in, they knock on the door and say, hey, you know that massive problem, the leak in your wall, the thing that was, you know, eight, nine months old now? Yeah, we're gonna fix that today. So the next few days were people coming in and out. I, I don't wanna turn the camera, but there's a large hole in my wall here. They did great work. The company that the apartment brought in, they did, they did great work, they were nice people. Um, but they, they cleaned up the wall, they, they taped it up, and now all that's left to do is for someone to come in and uh, drywall it closed. Who knows when that's gonna be, but for now, for the foreseeable future, there isn't junk everywhere and people trampling in and out of my apartment. So I was able to get the camera and the laptop set back up. And yeah, as I said on my Discord, I'm, I'm sick of just sitting on my laurels. We gotta, we gotta do something. I was getting a little intimidated, a little overwhelmed, because I thought about coming back to streaming and I wasn't sure what to do. Um, I got a lot of new games that I've actually been playing in my off time. It's, it's been keeping me sane, and it's stuff that I want to stream for you all, and I'm going to. But ultimately, I was getting a little... I think I was overcomplicating it, so I settled on something simple. Uh, back to Mama Lasagna. I remember I, I left her here. I thought we were right outside Malaketh's door. I was gonna say today we'll beat Malaketh, we'll beat Gideon, we'll beat Godfrey, and Radagon, the Elden Beast, will beat the game as Mom Lasagna, and also that will be my 100%, because we're doing the Flame of Frenzy ending, so that will be every achievement, and that'll be Elden Ring 100%ed until, of course, the DLC drops. Um, but we're actually a bit further behind. Last I left Mama, we had only just killed the Godskin duo. So today, we'll see where we go. I'm gonna head through Fair Missoula. Uh, we've gotta finish up Oh my god, it's been so long. We gotta finish up Siegfried's quest, the big jar, friendly jar, jar bro. We gotta finish him up so that we can get his talisman, which is gonna be awesome for us. So there's uh, Siegfried. I, I think we are gonna kill Malekith today. We're close enough that I think we can kill him. But, you know, I'm, I'm gonna try not to think about it. We'll just go around and do what we do with Mama, which is have a lot of fun, eat a lot of food, and crush a lot of bitches. Hey, Monk! Resubbing at tier 3. Happy 20 months to you, my friend. The prophesied return. It's good to be back. Um, full disclosure, I'm, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little, you know, brain a little fuzzy. Just because I haven't done this in a while. And I, I actually I haven't been on camera in a while. The whole Dark Souls 2 stream was off camera. So I'm like, we have to bring that back. Uh, we got to show people my face, even if it has put on a few pounds. New year, same me, baby. Same chair, same webcam, same Christmas tree. <laughs> same old mama lasagna. So I think that's pretty much all the recaps of all the crap I was dealing with for the past month. Again, nothing too exciting, but wanted to let you guys know where I've been and why I haven't been streaming. Um, professionally, you know, my job and whatnot, I also, I'm getting a lot of documents in the mail, tax stuff, insurance stuff, and it's just things I sort of push aside and say I'll handle it eventually and then it all just kind of piles up, but I ignore it and sweat. It's the dance that we all do. So I think the uh, best way to go forward is baby steps, one foot in front of the other, and today we're going to put one metric ton baby step foot in front of the other here and continue our adventure with Mama Lasagna. 
Mm. I've been doing a lot of Elden Ring in my free time too, um, just because I, I just keep thinking about the DLC and I'm so excited for it. My mage, Papa Whispers, currently has 22 million runes in his possession and I refuse to spend them until the DLC drops. Because you guys know I'm going to be streaming that exclusively for weeks upon weeks because I've got, what, eight, nine, ten characters that I refuse to New Game Plus until we, uh, until we get the DLC. So I've been playing as Papa Whispers a bit, having fun with my shield guy, and I'm, uh, right now. The fuck did that hit me twice? You son of a bitch. The Christmas tree is a part of the stream now, a part of the ship, a part of the crew. <laughs> oh, yeah. I still have to make the Christmas tree emote, but we'll get to it. We'll get to a lot of things on my to-do list. There you are. Good job, buddy. My jaw tick's been a little better. I know I mentioned that a while back. It got really bad around the holidays. Now that I'm mentioning it, of course it's going to come back. That's the nature of the beast. But I just, my mood has been better. Uh, I, as I said, I had a case of the winters, really just waking up very early, going to bed very early. Everything always seemed dark. I just had no real zeal or desire or gumption. I hate that word. I don't know why. To do anything. Um, and this week I just woke a little better. You know, I, this week I cleaned up the house. I took care of some some documents and some registration, all that fun stuff that... Yeah, you get it. Just hit me, Bubbalo. Just hit me. I'm, I'm gonna use Great Heal. I'm, I'm a, this is a faith user. Faith users don't care about tanking shots in the face. It's good to see you, Monk. I hope everything is going, uh, jolly good on your end. Come on, Mama Heave! Heroes 5? Tight? This poor dog, just hanging on by his- Oh, there he goes. <laughs> what are the kids gonna do without their medicine? Oh, wait, crap. Oh, uh, uh, crap. I was gonna end with a Balto joke, but I always forget, is it Balto or Baldo? I always screw it up. My one friend never lets me live it down, and, you know, that's fine. I've accepted my lot in life. Oh, I, I don't know why I can't remember. I think it's Baldo with a D, I think. <laughs> but I could be getting that wrong. Oh, thank you, Monk. Thank you. I mean, I don't know if the camera does a lot for, for y'all, but I figured after having the whole Dark Souls 2 stream off camera, I'd bring it back. Do a little engage with the eyebrows and the facial expressions. Although it's hard for me to get some... Uh, the lamp I normally have behind the... See, for the large part, we've moved a lot of the junk out of this corner so that they can work on the wall, but there's a lot we can't move back in until they come back and drywall it, so I don't have the lamp or the bookshelf over here, so I'm trying to use natural lighting right now. I, I, I think it's I think, I think it's going to be just fine. I knew that was coming, and in my, in my explanations, I completely forgot it was coming. You are just determined to be uncool about this. Come on, I, feel like I hate the boomerang fucks. Who doesn't? Who doesn't hit the boomerang fucks? Love it. Ah, the perks should be the faith user. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> You'll excuse me if I'm hacking, coughing, wheezing, squealing. Uh, that sickness was the... I think it's a virus. It's a bug that's been going around. Everyone's been getting basically a respiratory infection. We were tanking cough syrup for, you know, two weeks straight. But it's one of those those bugs that sticks with you. I've still got some some phlegmaga and some uh, mucus in my system. So, just for the sake of my own comfort, you're going to hear a lot of uh, bodily noises in my headset. Always with the fucking boomerangs. That's right. We're actually heading up this way anyway, because we need to go settle Alexander's quest line. I feel Lightning Spear needs to do more damage for its commitment. I mean, I've, I've, used, I've done hundreds of hours with my mage, and there are so many spells, and the majority of those spells 
offer high damage with little risk. Uh, Lightning Spear is kind of the offensive miracle for faith users. And the cast time and the charge time and the inability, the recovery time, uh, it really, it, it kind of just makes it, in my opinion, not the best. You also thought it was Balto? Okay. Well, at least I don't need to feel silly anymore. I can feel silly in solidarity. Oh my god, that's right, new games. Um, so it turns out, guys, that I actually have access to a baby game pass. I think they switched Xbox Gold in an attempt to try and get people to all turn over to the new system, and then you got the archaic old fucks like me sitting on our porch, waving our walkers at the sky. Um, so with my gold now, I get something called Xbox Game Pass Core, which is like 25 games. I don't know how long they're on that pass, how long they're free, but I downloaded quite a few of them, and I will be streaming them soon. Um, we're doing Mama Lasagna today, but who knows, maybe tomorrow I'll do a chill, um, there's a game I've been talking about a lot, but I've never actually, like, really gotten into depths on stream. There's a game called Slay the Spire. It's really fun, um, it's a roguelite, it's, it's, it involves cards, so it really reminds me of, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic, you know, strategy. And the art the art style's great, the music's great, it's, it's a game that I've been playing non-stop, so I'll be streaming Slay the Spire, that's coming up. Um, I'm still considering the old Silent Hills, but I think I need to beat Manhunt before I go to do retro games again. Um, I also downloaded Grounded. I finally got Grounded. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Um, Obsidian has delivered a really fun experience. Their art direction, their color palette, as always with Obsidian, is just so engaging. And it's got me in the mood to want to do Outer Worlds. So at some point, I'll be showing you guys Grounded. I'm working with my brother and my friend. We, uh, we've got our early games set up. We've got our bases and everything. It's, it's a really fun time. So we got Grounded. We've got Slay the Spire. I think there was maybe one more, one or two more games uh, that I could download. State of Decay is currently on Xbox, X, Xbox Game Pass Core. Oh, you know me. I like words. I like titles. But, ugh. All right, so normally I hate this area because these skeletons are assholes. However, we're a faith user, and those that live in death hate faith. So I think we're going to be just okay. In fact, I want to see how much the big boys... I want to see how well they do when I give them the Wrath of Gold. You're not a big boy, you're a normal boy. Wrath of Gold! Wrath of Gold! Wrath of Gold! Oh god, there's no poise! <laughs> I don't know why I don't have a lot of poise with this armor. I'm, I'm wearing some of the biggest armor in the game, but... Wait, am I thinking Dark Souls 2 poise mechanics? They just updated a lot of good poise mechanics in this game, but... Anyway, I was saying something about not being afraid of this area. <laughs> I wonder how, how little Bubble Trumpet would do. No way, my doot toot. I'm sorry. How much does that hurt? What? Why does that hurt so much? Hey God, where are my runes? Oh, Christ. Yeah, like, okay, I, I didn't expect that to do a lot of damage, but... Dude, dude! Ah! Oh, that goes half my health. The fucking big guys. I hate these jackasses. I'm doing, yeah, I'm doing it to myself. I could go get the Ash of War. The, oh, that's right. I was, I was briefly building into the Coded Sword. I, there was a lot of directions I could have gone with Mama Lasagna. And then it does the, yeah. Hm. Let's see how much damage this does. We'll call it the Holy Skewer. The sheesh kebab. Little out of range. This isn't even fully upgraded. Oh god, these things just have- The beastmen have so much poise. So much raw poise. Not bad, though. Not bad. It's probably still best just to, uh just to use the honker. Wrath of Gold did not do as much damage as I wanted it to. 
and I doubt skeletons care about flame. All right, we'll just stick with bubble trumpet and lightning bolts. The ouch kibibbles. Oh, Elden Ring. It felt so good to come back to this after Dark Souls 2. Got me excited for the eventual Dark Souls 3 stream. I don't know when that'll happen, but it's in the pipes. Rest assured. Much like the plumber fixing the toilet that your mother clogged, it's in the pipes. If you guys aren't gonna drop, behold my holy bubs! This guy's sitting back, you're like, ah, what do I do? What do I do now? Oh, I was the big exploder, not the skull. See, see, I thought it was the skull. It wasn't the skull. Excuse me, clomping through here. Holy power of gold or something. Yo, Mr. Sight Man. So happy to be back playing Elden Ring. So very happy to be playing this game. This was the right call. Not the super propriety variety hour where I was gonna show you our Minecraft worlds and and, and some some apertifs of the other games I've been playing recently. No, Elden Ring was the way to go. Actually, well, I've got this here. So for Christmas, my mother-in-law, Gina, got me a, uh, you know, just a coffee thermos, water thermos, and uh, I really like it, so shout out to her. Let's see if I can get it in frame here on my shitty camera basically just like I'm a gamer do not disturb and on the back there's all these funny nutritional facts for gaming stuffs it's great I love it keeps my water cold so shout big shout out to Gina all right uh, new strategy why fight when peace is an option peace be with you that peace was so fast to cut the air peace be with you Oh man, I felt that peace. That was a lot of peace on my back. Oh, this guy's just erupting with peace. Breathing peace, heavenly peace. So much peace. Peace be with you all. Mama's a pacifist today. I got a Malaketh to kill, all right? This is, this is all just extra being up here. I gotta go clonk a big old jar, bro. Just so I can get the final ingredients. Because if you guys thought that our bubble butt bubbles were doing damage, uh, I got news for you. Wait till we give them a nice little boost from the Alexander Shard. Or... Or we could just fall to our death in a place that I've never even knew was there before. That's good too. This is God, the chaos. I love it. Mother of God, what a time to run out of stamina. What a time to go the one direction that was not safety. Because I'm going to show you when we come over here and we sit down for a minute, you're going to see that below us should have been safe. We should have been fine. All should have been healthy and happy. Ow. See, look at the scene. See, look how close the ground is. Nothing to worry about. No, nothing to worry about until you get right there, apparently. God, every day is a lesson. Every lesson is growth. All growth is painful. Oh, finally, at long last, Mr. Alexander, the jar of destiny. You got something on me? Oh, 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 my God. So on today's episode of uh, Why Gavin is a Concurrent Asshole, 
I was using this to grind out some items before, you know, yesterday or something. Whenever I was using Mama last, I was grinding some items out. Ah, uh, no wonder I've been taking so much damage, because I'm wearing the Take More Damage Talisman. <laughs> the mysteries of life. Oh, the mysteries of life just all being uncovered. All right, so that'll make things a little bit easier. Alex, I need your shad. Ah, I see you finally made it here yourself. Yeah. The city hanging in the air is slowly crumbling. It's an incredible place we find ourselves. Oh, man, I wanted to talk theories, too. More on that in a minute. Suddenly a force to be reckoned with, eh? Oh, dear. I doubt there's a single soul who could have handled that giant other than you. It was practically a god. Of course. Oh, oh excuse me. Great. Sorry, I'm, I'm reading another bot's uh, auto chat here. I just I just got to ban the name real quick. undertake my ordeal? Come and tell me when you're ready. I've been longing to fight a warrior as accomplished as you. First time chatter. Long time bot. Why do I always have trouble with this thing? Skilly do, skilly bop. All right. There we go. Nice and banned. Now we can continue. All right, I'm ready. You are ready then. I for the challenge. Then let us begin. Yeah, let's begin. Right, Show me what you got. What did you kill down there? Mama's gonna bake you into a nice crock of French onion jar, boy. As I suspected, victory. Where's Where your God it? now? This vessel was found lacking. <laughs> I'd like my vessel. My vessel's a unit. My vessel keeps the cheese. My thanks. I knew you were the stuff of champions. All right, yeah, we've heard it before, my friend. Marvel's battle, la di da. Take what I be queef. Take what I be queef. Uh huh. Inside me. Skip it. All vessels are destined to one day break. Skip it. But the great I can't skip Alexander it. Sorry. Lived as a warrior to his last. <laughs> <laughs> I should have destroyed them. That's all right, monk. Yay! And now with this heckin' honkin' chonkin' boy, we uh, we can boost the power of our specialty skill, which, as you all know already, that's why I did that, uh, is straight fire. All right, the bubbles now do even more damage. Uh, there is a dragon, and I can get all that stuff later. That stuff's not important. I don't know how long I'm going today because I didn't I didn't come back from a month-long hiatus to be like All right, let's just do a quick four to eight hour stream. I will be fine. We'll, we'll stay hydrated Now today I want to focus on the important things heck, you know, maybe I could just run straight to Malaketh Then from there we could just go straight to the Ashen Capital kill the last boys Although if there's any bosses that I have been afraid of actually afraid of to fight in this run it's been Radagon. Mr. Golden Boy himself, the highest, holiest, holy of the holy since holy came to holy town. I just, I have trouble believing that any of my holy spells and or weapons are going to harm him. Well, we're all going to find out together. We'll burn that bridge when we cross it. All right, where's the stupid shinies up here? No, oh, baby, duel! Fucking smacking that ass. <laughs> I thought of redoing Mama. I thought of uh, of respecting her for the Bolt of Grand Sax, which is a truly formidable weapon. But I, at the end of the day, I'm like, Mama's beautiful the way she is. We're going to do it. We're going to take her all the way. I can only imagine how much the little bubble hurts now. Little bubble's got to be popping. Then we slap this bad boy on. Forget about it. I think there's something that enhances bubble sorceries beyond that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right, somber eight. I know, I think there's, yep, there it is. Whoop. I think that's the last item here. 
I'll write Smith and A, and that all just leads to where we've been before. Okay. So... We'll just go from here. Alexander served his purpose. He lived his life. The course has fled. The spirit's flown. We keep him alive so that he can become a jar shard to be placed in our inventory to make us more powerful. <laughs> Pacifism, go! The pacifist warrior. I'm a natural. Ow, son of a bitch. <laughs> Clearly, I'm not the humility master. That that needs a bit more practice, where I can call myself the master of humility. But it's all right. If anyone is strong enough and brave enough and handsome enough and strong enough and smart enough to master humility, it's me. Made great hammers just the answer to everything. I, I was happy to see that great hammers were getting all the buffs, especially when you know my first guy was a great hammer user, and I never felt like he was bad. I was never at any point was like, oh, the great hammer doesn't do enough damage. It doesn't knock people down well enough. It doesn't have any good ashes of war. No, I always loved great hammers, and they just made them better. And faster and stronger. They, they just literally took the Daft Punk song and they plugged it into Great Hammers and they said, All right, everyone, have fun. No reason to go that way. I'm excited to uh, stream some new stuff for you guys. I wanted to come back simple. Do Elden Ring, because it's a game, it's my comfort food, it's a game that I know, it's a game that I love, and it's a game where we had unfinished business. I mean, look at this. How can I expect to find any happiness in my life when Mama is still sitting here in limbo? Mama, who has been sworn and promised to bake the world into her one true lasagna via the flame of frenzy. Like, I just, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta settle my debts. Alley -oop. I like how they have like lesser Godfrey attacks because these are the Knights of Godfrey. I often forget that. <laughs> Fucking boys monsters. All right. Yeah, I do recall getting stabbed to the left of the stab. Y'all ever been stabbed to the left of the stab? It's pretty impressive. There goes my health, all right. Uh, damn it, I used to be the varsity champion of Crucible Knight Crusher. Now I feel like a silly goose. Maybe that's because I put away the spatula. Not gonna use the tail tech? See, like, I, I know that's not enough range. I'd love to use a lightning bolt, but I know that I don't have enough range, or like uh, enough time to, to charge it up and throw it. He will close that gap so unbelievably quick. No, 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 put the goiter away. Lightning Bolt needs something. And they have some very powerful endgame lightning, but nothing is just a straight projectile, I don't believe. Unlike other games where you've always had, uh, I think like the Lightning Spear, and then you had Sunlight Spear was the big one that was like the powerful Lightning Spear. I don't think you have that in this game. I was waiting for like a Radagon Lightning Spear, like the Golden Spear or something, you know? A full holy damage lightning spear esque projectile. Projectile for you Gentiles. 
Uh, the damage is nice, don't get me wrong there. The range too, the range is atrocious. Like that's about as far as you can throw a lightning spear and have it connect. Compared to the Bolt of Grand's Axe, which is an Ash of War that I think goes like, just for fucking it. Giving giant birds heart attacks though, it's fulfilling. Well, it's, it's pretty fulfilling. Like one day you're just a giant bird, proud, master of the sky, and then <laughs> heart goes stop. Where? <laughs> Red lightning. <laughs> yeah. I've never quite un- This is slightly awkward! Kaka! I've never truly asked what that dragon's beef is over there. That dragon's got big beef. I don't know why. Man, you know, Mama's still looking as sexy as the day we made her. I mean, look at this mountain of meatballs. The poise, the grace, the frog eyes, the sideburns, the mutton chops. It's just, it's just a total package. Sad to say the cutting knife is not as effective as I'd like it to be. It's good, and it completes the look for sure. If we had Mogwin Sacred Spear, we'd have the classic Italian grandma fork and spoon up on the wall. Oh, you're big. Oh my god, I fucking hate him. They just get so floofy with their attacks. Raid Hammer! Raid Hammer! Raid Hammer! Raid Hammer! Raid Hammer! Raid Hammer! Thank you for playing. See now, where's the drop point? I forget if killing Malaketh immediately activates the rune of death or if I can pull back. Cause I, I don't know if there's stuff I've missed in the capital, but I also, I'm tired of sitting around my thing is greed, and I like getting all the shinies with everybody, but I also know I've wasted a lot of time. Like, I, rather, I feel like I've wasted a lot of time. I have not done any Mama lasagna -ing for oh, quite a while. For many months, for many games. Just open it up with fucking fire, you bitch. Are you leaving? Don't leave. Ah, oh, fuck. Why does he have access to the red lightning bolts? This is doing nothing to him. I thought lightning was your weakness. It's a sick world I'm living in with sick people! Oh, okay, I got an idea. <laughs> when it down, bubble it out. Bring it down, bring it down! Yeah, there's a few dragons in Fair Missoula I still don't quite understand. They are the big ones that are at like half health and they sometimes disappear, they'll leave combat. And sometimes they'll stick around and let you fight. When you kill that one, he gives you an ancient stone, which, like, that's a big deal. Not sure. Not sure what the mechanics are there. All right, we still got another Crusade daddy we gotta go murder. So let me go give a couple more birds heart attacks, and then we'll go kill Crusade daddy. Oh my god, that's right! Let's track in 40 sacks! Wait, or is it flaccid sacks? No, it's flaccid saxophone. 40 sacks is 
the Death Dragon. That's Lich Dragon Fortisax. The Dragon Lord is Placidisax, so that's Dragon Lord Flaccid Saxophone. The, the, the angle too, like lightning hits very low in a straight line, unlike spells that can sort of curve up and down and left and right. Lightning is just, are you in the correct, are you on the correct plane for this to hit? Good, otherwise. I can't shit talk lightning spear too much because it still is a, a valuable tool for, for, a, for a faith user. I don't like want to say a heal user. All right, we'll leave the last of the, the birds alone since I don't think I can get a line on him. That was the wrong way. Why am I dancing with death so regularly? <laughs> Thanks for that, monk. Uh, uh. <laughs> he jumped like fucking Looney Tunes. <laughs> he jumped like Tom. He jumped like Jerry just stuck him with a needle or something in. Oh, I don't know if my voice can handle it now. <laughs> That's what they looked like when the lightning bolt hit him. Ah, oh, shit. The gravel was over there. The gravel was over there! The gravel was over there! Oh, we can get some gravel here, too. Ah, uh, murder a couple of banished knights. Kill a crusadaddy. We'll get the... The grace! That's the one. The grace fire! The bond grace! The guidance of bond. I think I like the grace fire. That's a cool band name. Grace fire. Does it have to be a Christian rock band, though? I don't know. I think I could get away with it. Don't you come clomping down the steps here like a big old jackass? Yeah, welcome to the party. Like, see, if I was a mage, he'd be dead and I would not have taken damage. The, the, the startup time and the delivery of lightning bolts is just, it's just not there. It's just not what it needs to be. Hone bolt's a little different. I like hone bolt when you can actually get it off. Cast time of Hone Bolt is also ridiculous. I'm gonna see about trying to hone... Oh wait, do doesn't one of them come down the ladder? Yeah, I knew you did! Oh, whoa, 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 he is just poisoned through and living his best life. Lightning beam! That man was almost cool. And I was almost uncool. We have to do better. I think we're actually all right here. Oh, that's some popping in my end. Hope the audio sounds all right for everybody. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Do we crack this man in the back? Hope he falls to his death or bubble blast his ass? Ah, uh, well, I guess those bubbles are for us. Hooray. Bye, Mr. Badish Knight. Okie dokie, we're ready to go. Face the Crusade Daddy. Get the lightning something. Is it a tear, I think? It's been a while since I've been to Framazul. I think there's a bunch of needless gravel stones. Yep, there we go. A non-renewable resource for some reason, even though I cannot tell you a single thing I've ever made using gravel stone. Oh, 
Oh, this might be fun. Yeah! Go, Cruiser Daddy, go! You got this! Yeah! Fist pump! All right! Why are you coming this way? It's just out of range of that one. I don't think you can turn this way, can you? All right, let's be a little... Oh, oh, oh he torched that man. Let's be a little more direct with our lightning. So Cruiser Daddy, wait, I'm sorry! Wait, 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 wait! Ah, not the goiter! Man, you are really hang time in that shaw! You are really hang time in that bullshit today, man. Good night! Alright, one Crucid Daddy down. The primordial essence all over the place. Oh, I spilled my primordial essence! Guys, hang on, I need a towel! You got a... <laughs> that reminds me back in the day when we were first playing Elden Ring, I was playing with friends, and we first were finding all the elemental greases to put on weapons. So I'm in his game, and he starts getting attacked by, uh, I think we were invaded. And so the guy's coming at him, I'm like, hang on, hang on, I'm on my way, I just need to grease up. <laughs> and I think it got him killed. I think he started laughing at uh, the, the invader. The invader got him for it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't get there in time, I was greasing up. Uh... You know... There are some downsides. Nothing in life is perfect, but most days I really enjoy being a shameless heathen. It makes a lot of things simple and easy. Mama is covered in marinara. Yeah! I am out of astuce. See, like, the, like most things are coded to dodge projectiles. Super freaking easy to dodge lightning. I don't know what's going on with the hammer today. I'm having the trouble. Oh, you like lightning, do you? How about them lightning? Yeah, I stand by it. Swinging right over their heads today. Oh god, he's growling! Up! Oh, yep! There we go. Woo! We almost cocked that up. We almost cocked that up. Gotta find our flow. See, this guy thinks you're gonna wait over there and then have trouble getting over to this side to fight him in his dumbass boomerangs. Or... Why, why do you get to float? Look at this asshole looking like Wily e. Coyote on the edge of a cliff. Are you kidding me? There's a lot of Looney Tunes shit going down today. And I don't think I'm the only one noticing it here. Yeah, Great Deals of Mazeballs. Late game, Mama has the has the faith and the Mama has the faith and the 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 mana, the MP, the focus, whatever you want to call it, to use the the biggest heal, the greatest heal, which I think is Lord's heal, and then blessing the Erd tree. Blessing the Erd tree is the greatest. Uh, I want to say dot heal, but that stands for damage over time, so that doesn't make sense. It's the best over time heal. Lord's heal is the best and biggest straight heal, but. The efficiency-wise, like, the number, the, the amount of healing you get from Lord Seal versus the amount it costs, like, two great heals is better than a Lord Seal and it costs less, I think is what it stands at. So yeah, great heal is the way to go. Great heal is, great heal is... See, I think I'm going about this the wrong way. These, these beastmen are fleshy creatures. Fleshy creatures do not like fire. This knife is full of fire. Ergo, Latin. I'm 
just gonna assume, I'm just gonna pretend I had a point to make there. Because really, that probably took longer to kill than the actual hammer, but... You know, I'll just do what the rest of the world does. I will lie with confidence. All right, we're just about done here. I think I'm gonna go kill Flaccid Saxophone, um, but first I'll finish up the invader area around Malaketh, and we'll probably kill the Draconic Tree Sentinel too. If I do decide to go ham and beat the game today, then I'm gonna have to update the stream title. I promised myself that the last title in Mama's epic story was gonna be and Meatballs for All. So I might have to change that. What am I sitting on here? I'm sitting on one level. Ooh, we're approaching level 200 with Mama as well. Gotta decide where I want to put the points! Of course, it's two to 200, but it would take three to get... Ah, the numbies, the numbies, the numbies are never adding up! I can't decide. Uh, part of me wants to get Faith to 80 because she is, she is Faith and that's what we should be doing. Uh, I don't really need to raise dexterity for any weapons this late in the game. My strength is good. It can always be better, but it's good. Endurance, vigor, mind. I wouldn't mind having more mind, actually. Getting mind up to 45 might be the way to go. A little more FP in the tank. Focus points. But doing this, though... Mama's, Mama's faithful. Let's keep her faithful. Let's get her up to a, a cool 80. That'll be, uh, what? 208? At level 208, we'll have that much faith. I don't think there's anything intelligence or arcane-wise I was building towards. Mm. Yep. We gotta keep the faith. We gotta keep the faith for Mama. She will see us through. We shall never go hungry in Mama's care. Alright, so before we head up, we're gonna head down. I have to decide if I want to try and be cool and learn to parry Malakath's death blade, or if I want to do what I normally do, smack him in the face until he stops moving. These are the decisions. Come to think of it, they buffed Great Hammer Heavy Attack, so I probably should be using those indiscriminately. Twenty's still alive here, and shadam! Shablams! Chow <laughs> Shoots through the ground, shoots through the rock, lands somewhere in Kaled. Well, what's that? That's the Mama Crater. All right, come on, asshole, I know you around. I got bubbles with your name on it. Or actually, <laughs> we might do the, yeah, let's do the flame charge. Come here, Bernal. Come here, Mr. Bernal. Oh, here it comes. Really, you can just sort of hyper armor do that shit, huh? Oh, huh. it's weird. I can stun lock Melania with that. I can stunlock Melania with that skill, and yet normal people don't give a fuck. Bitch, what are you casting? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. That was almost our death. Are you serious? Pissing me off, Bernadette Peters. My great hammer's doing nothing to his ass. His great hammer is crushing me. Let's try the knife. Don't make me get out the spatula. You do not want this ass. This ass coming in hot. All right, knife's doing work. <laughs> oh, you had a Estes. You should have packed a box lunch. Ow. Okay, we're done with all that, Huey.
This armor set is obtained so late in the game, and I have a feeling that it would look really freaking awesome in with some characters. You just get it so late. Rise and shine! How? How do you miss point? Oh, they're all waking up. They weren't all supposed to wake up. We we're supposed to have ourselves a hoot nanny. A singular hoot nanny. Mama's a classy lady. She don't go after more than one at a time. <laughs> Unless we're at the buffet. All right. So we did the down. Let's go kill the Draconic Sentinel. Then we'll go kill Flaccid Saxophone. I think our bubbles are going to tear Flaccid Saxophone apart, especially if I call in Mimic Lasagna. Or, <laughs> how do you guys feel about Mama Sous Chefs? Remember the rat? Remember the rat pack we had? We had uh, Crutch Rat Supreme, Ratatouille, Bratwurst. There's five of them now. I don't know if we have names for all of them. Conic Tree Sentinel probably don't give a shit about lightning, considering that they like lightning. <laughs> hmm. Probably doesn't like fire. I've really been neglecting the two meatballs I have here. Might have to use the meatballs. What is in my wondrous physic? The store's FP. Oh, interesting. Okay, well then, fuck it. Let's go all out with this man. That, and then a little bit of this. And then the power of the lasagna! The forbidden black meatball coming! It's weird. I've got the best faith scaling seal in the game. My faith is very high. It's not 80, but it's very high. And yet, I just feel like none of my incantations... I don't feel like none of my miracles do any damage. Please, no. Yay! I'm getting my hams cooked. I'm getting my hams cooked. All right, all right, like in the rock. Respecting the dehydrated meatball. Ow! No, 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 Dehydrated meatball is king! Meatball doing work! Very bad at- oh, you're seriously- Yeah, yeah he was- I knew he was gonna kill me with that. I'm so bad at the timing with that. That one has to be perfect, because he hits you with, I think, three lightning bolts. It hits the second he comes down, and then it hits, like, two after. It's it's expressly designed to roll, catch, and kill like the bitch it is. <clears throat> well, now, I hope your ass is ready for bubbles, because now you're getting fucking bubbles. Now you're getting oodles of a boobles. It's probably not the same thing, is it? Go ahead, look to me. Be like Sally Forth and Divine Ho and the power of my fucking... Wow, wait, where'd your health go, my man? Where'd all that health go? Oh, it, 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 must, it must have gone where my health went. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, sorry for disturbing you. I wanted to know! I asked the question! I wanted to know where all his health went, and clearly it's... It's... it went to the grave with... with the rest of me. I'm not still wearing America's source seal, am I? No, I'm not! Okay! Okay! <laughs> it's just painful. 
Can I can I fit the bubble hat on with being heavy load? Okay, I want to see how much damage this does. Why did you, okay? I instead of using the trumpet, I get my shit out. That's fine. I'll take that on the news. No bubbles. Correct course. Course correct bubbles. This massive headpiece is. I I kind of really enjoy running around with this giant thing. My smolder. I swore I was out of range of that. Now I'm dead. Okay, went with the fire. That's cool. Come on, one more. Be greedy. Yeah! Yeah, be greedy. That's the way. Everyone knows greed is how you win this game. I am aggressively drinking water right now to cope. <laughs> hum. All right, get the shit out of here. Get the shit out of here. Get, get, get mama's, mama's headpiece back. Let's just hit him with rocks. We'll hit him with rocks till he capitulates. And some of these! better than the other one. Please don't do the other one. What? <laughs> Say again? Excuse you, horse? This horse is being a real bitch! So much. Look at that delay! Look at the concentration! Just give it up, my man. Just fucking take your lumps. No, not those lumps. Not those lumps either. Fucking pagan! You are not Dragon Slayer armor, okay? I know you want to be. Dragon Slayer armor was way cooler than you were. You're just another dude on a horse. Hey, but now we can be Ghostface Killer. <laughs> that might be a bit of a dated reference. All right, now that the non-boss is dead, let's go kill an actual boss. How about it? I'm gonna go kill an actual boss. A real boss. The kind of boss that sounds bossy. Wondering if it was a mistake to have two burritos before streaming. <laughs> All right, so killing Placido Sax. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hit him with the, I'm gonna hit him with the faith, baby. I'm gonna hit him with the, with the bubs. I'm gonna hit him with the big bubs. 
Pacifism! Pacifism, 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 pacifism. Def Jam! Oh man, if I could stream Def Jam Fight for New York, Monk. Hell yes. Uh, not, uh, not Icon. Uh, Icon was a terrible, horrible, fucking no good, very bad game. Um, I'm sorry that uh, it exists and that I know of its existence. Uh, we will never speak of it again. But Def Jam, Fight for New York, and probably Vendetta, the first one. I never played that one, but oh, those games were fire! All right, Dragon Lord, I hope you're ready, because I got lasagna, and I got bubbles, and I got extra lasagna with extra bubbles. I got so much lasagna and bubbles, I don't even know what to do with it. Oh, wait, yes, I do. It's stuff it down your face. <laughs> and here we see Mama Lasagna's natural gravitational pull uh, reversing the flow of time. Uh, you see, she is so dense that the very gravity and light surrounding her cannot escape the immediate area. This has a uh, sort of inverse effect, turning back time and reverting the gravitational flow of the falling boulders to bring them all back together around the mass that is Mama Lasagna. Vendetta was funny, Monk, because at the end, I think D-Mob comes out and he shoots Manny, the tattoo artist. And then in two, D-Mob's all like, oh, we can't, you know, use scaring. Respect is what matters. We can't rely on fear. And Snoop Dogg comes in as the asshole and starts shooting people. It's like, D-Mob, didn't you just do that in the first game? <laughs> I love this place. Elden Ring is funny in that it sort of cucks you. Think about how many enemies in Elden Ring aren't in their prime. Think about how the the bosses in Elden Ring are frail, shallow, shell imitations of their former selves. This dragon, I think, had three or four or like five heads once. Now he's got two. Radagon uh, was once whole but was shattered because of Merica. So even they might have like a wound they're dealing with. Radon, the general, is fucking holding back the literal stars, and yet he's a ravaged, rot, maddened beast. Like, Melania is basically insane when we fight her. Imagine if we fought these people in their prime. <laughs> Saints Row 1 and Crackdown 1. Now, Crackdown 1, I think, is backwards compatible, Monk. I think you can get that on the box. Um... I think I actually still have a copy of Crackdown 1 here in its Xbox 360 case. Maybe. Uh, it's been a while. All right, so I'm thinking I am going to go with extra lasagna. Two lasagnas. If I can get even a little bit of aggro, I'll be able to bubble butt trumpet blast. When did I lose that much health? Huh. Clearly, I was not paying attention to things and stuff. I'm gonna crack this man right in the face with my bodacious bubbles. Suck the bubs! I'm not close enough for him to suck the bubs. Move a little closer so you can suck the bubs. Oh, take my bubbles. Ow. Oh, she's bubble blasted too, fuck yeah! Oh, I think he's, I think he's, he's ascending. Yep, yep, he, he's in a higher plane now. All right, bob and weave, mimic lasagna. Woohoo! This fight is so epic. Oh man, I did it! I actually dodged him. And now he stands broken, and now the bubbles are coming to town. GG, flaccid saxophone. Wow. You know, I've done this. His fight is really not hard. I think I killed him with my Lothric... 436k, though. Okay, respect. I think I killed him with my Lothric Exile in, like, two minutes. He's not a hard boss, but... Goddamn. 
gone. He is, he's gone. He's out of here. He is, he is in our pot and he is marinating. Uh, all that's left to do is kill Malaketh then. Yeah, we kind of, kind of cleaned that whole area up. And all of that gives us one level. Yes, indeedy. One level. Now, here's the thing with Malaketh. Um, I don't think we are going to have nearly enough time to use our bubbles. He is so fast that hitting bubbles with him is not only risky, it's it's almost irresponsible. Um, so we either switch to the spatula or I just try and patiently hit him with the knife and things. I don't think I want to use Mimic Lasagna for Malakath. I don't know. What do I need? I need about 80k. Oh, happy level 200, everybody. Uh, I need about 80k to murder ball him. Let me see here. Uh, right. I don't need a Great Rune because I have the Flame of Frenzy. And I'm pretty sure the Flame of Frenzy is currently burning in my bosom. And I don't want to use Mikola's needle either. Makes me wonder then, did I go and get Mikola's needle? I don't think I did. Not that that matters, we can come back to this whenever we want. Mm, 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 mm. So, all right. S quick theory time, and uh, I don't have any supporting uh, evidence for this, and uh, I have not done research, uh, nor can I even attest to the fact that what I'm saying will even slightly make any sense. But, all of that being said, I wonder, or I think, or I feel... See, Fair Missoula is very interesting. This place is called the place out of time. It is a massive, you know, city in the sky and it's crumbling but i wonder with the typical dark souls everything corrupts you know time changes everything i wonder if if we ignored the falling apart if fair mazul was whole and not currently being ravaged by storms i'm overcomplicating this i'm trying to i'm wondering if fair mazul was actually on the ground and that when the dragon lord god fled and that it became the land outside of time if it broke away from the land and rose into the air the question then becomes where would it fit now there's a lot of architecture very similar to fair mazul by Kalid. so maybe once like this area right here was actually fair mazul and then it ripped off and went into the air but and this might be hard to see but in my uh, love of cracked theories, I almost feel like this all came from the capital or is a second version of the capital. Because if you look at this wall here, this big long wall, it almost fits perfectly in this circle where the capital walls, like everything in this game is about rings and circles and yet the capital is in a complete circle. Now, I don't think the walls would actually fit here, but they look like they sort of could. And the way that leads up to Malakath almost looks like this right here. This looks like the uh, Queen's Bedchamber almost looks like Malakath's arena. And this looks like the great bridge up to him. The sizes are different. As I said, it doesn't hold a lot of weight or water, but it interests me. Because I want to know where Fair Missoula came from. I think I should stop beating around the bush here. While I'm worried about killing Malakath and shutting off the capital forever, there's nothing else I need to do here. Let's kill Malakath, and then I'll decide if I'm going to beat the game today. The, after Malakath, there's what? There's Gideon, Godfrey, Radagon, and the Beast. So only four bosses left. I think I would like to split it up, though. This was fun. I did a lot of talking today. We'll beat Malakath, and then we will have one final Mama Farewell stream where I beat all of the final bosses. That will be end meatballs for all. So today, we gotta go do as I promised and make bangers and Malakath mash. Uh, do I want to try doing it solo like a cool guy and try and counter his stuff? Or do I just want to run in and give him the business? It is a lot of runes on the line. I suppose I could, if I fix my wondrous physique here. Let's put Twiggy Crack Tear on there. 
that will hopefully prevent us from losing our runes. Uh, and then we got here. This is the claw. Anytime Malakath launches a red blade projectile, we can use this to counter it. And I think immediately knock him into broken stance position. All right, so let's try to be a cool guy. We're going to fight him by ourselves. And uh, then maybe after we die, we'll use Mimic Lasagna and we'll try and counter his stuff. And if all of that fails, and we are truly a pee pee pooper pants, then we'll just, uh, we'll just resort to slapping his dick the old fashioned way. Tarnished. Why would so? Because this is a hungry world! And mama ain't here to watch people go hungry. Fucking beast clergyman of insta kill attacks. Oh! Ah, that hurt. Wait, 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 please wait. does so much damage it hits so hard. Bullshit. Bullshit. Here we go. Now we get to see if I can be a cool guy. My money's on no. Cock ass. That explosion. a little annoying. Oh, we're dead. Fuck. Fuck. And I didn't drink my flask either because I'm an idiot. Ah! Because I had that stupid thing out and I wanted it to be cool and counter is red, I didn't get my heal off in time. Ah, that's all right. We walked into it. I'm gonna try it again. I really, really do want to get good with this. Problem is, every attack Malakath does either does half health and then starts to eat your health. I guess there's there's no either there. That's just it. Every attack he does takes you to half health. So if you get hit with two attacks, you're dead because you're going to die before he can heal. If you get hit with one, you got to heal before he hits you with the other because it's going to eat your health and you're going to die. Oh, my God. And I wasted an Estus. Okay, now don't don't ever recall you being that annoying with your hitboxes for sure. I'm gonna try something stupid. Oh, well, maybe we can get some bubbles around the corner at him. Man, suck my dick. I hate you so much. Uh, I I really 
wish I liked this first phase. Like, facing Malakath as himself is really cool. Facing the Beast Clergyman by himself is also kind of just pretty cool. But having him before Malakath, I guess I don't quite understand it. Like, they both have unique movesets. They both have unique weapons. Like, his whole thing's the beast stuff, whereas Malakath's all the black blade. I guess I feel like they should have been two separate bosses. I think that's what it is. Like, this should have been a boss before Malakath, and then after you beat it. Like Moog, it should have had about two health bars. Okay. 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 And then he, then he just delays that shrapnel throw. That's that's a that's a purely subjective thing for me in Elden Ring, but I I do hate the the very delay of boss attacks. I don't mind that some enemies have you know a seven hit combo and then a very small window. I don't mind that. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't mind that bosses like Morgoth will you know, do like a two quick attack and then a very long wind up strong attack, trying to bait dodge rolls. I don't mind that. I mind when certain attacks have three speeds they can be delivered at. And and just about every boss does it. Melania does it, Morgoth does it, the fire giant does it. Like, j just, just a big overhead smash. Sometimes it'll be, uh, uh. sometimes it'll be, uh, uh, uh. And sometimes it'll be faster than normal. It'll be like, uh, uh, and oh, the uh, the tree spirits. The tree spirits do it a lot too with their, their back attack. I don't like that. I don't like that the same attack can have three different speeds. You could argue that it actually is good game design. I get annoyed by it. In a game like, like this, in Souls games where it's all about rhythm and learning the combos, it's annoying when you learn a combo and a move, and then that move is inconsistent. Mind if I just keep slapping you with the jump attack? Seems safe to me, seems fair. I absolutely dodged that. Cheese the pillars, cheese the pillars. Jesus for Jesus. I'm sorry, why do you seem like you're getting health back? You don't get health back. You're not Melania, Blade of Mechala. The blistering bitch of the beast. Is gonna hit me? <laughs> Almost. Almost fucking did. Now I'm walking into things, like a jack. The back slice is bullshit. stupid turn on the heel waste a million years thing oh my god i should have just fucking rolled into him the bubbles, did you, Squidward? Alright. Let's try not to die immediately. Oh, dumb. So very dumb. So fucking dumb, yeah. And I'm dead. And I'm dead. 
Shit! Shit! That's what I mean, he hits you twice, you're dead. Uh, we all know this, this game's been out... Has it only been a year? Or is it closer to two years now that this game's been out? And my flask didn't... Oh, my God. It, the first phase just seems annoying. I'd love to just fight Malekith. I'd love to fight his his slashy, jumpy death phase. And I'd love to learn his moves. But by the time I get through the Beast Clergyman, I'm annoyed. <laughs> Alright then. I think I'm gonna try cheesing him with lightning. Fuck me. Look at look at that delay! Woo! All right, you get lightning spears. I'm dumb, big dumb, big dumb. So dumb. I'm the dumbest. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Still being dumb. Look at our dumb. You gotta pay to catch this type of dumb normally. Not even charging this, I'm just gonna hit him point blank face first with the lightning. Yep. Yep, I'm for it. Jesus for Jesus. Thank you, Lightning Spear. I can always trust, uh, I can always rely on your. Ridiculously long wind up. Let's drink this now. Here, 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 here. Over here! I think one more should do it. So probably let's get this up now. Let's queue this up here. I wanna be cool! I wanna be cool! So mad at that. So fucking mad at that. Yeah. Fuck! Fuck! Alright, new plan. Ah, what now? Oh, he still doesn't like lightning. Mally, 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 Malikath! Malikath! Oh, I didn't do the thing. All right, that helps. And we're dead, because that's the double head. Oh, I'm going to bite my fucking knee. All right, we're done being cool. We're done being cool. I am not going to try and counter his death stuff because it's just not worth it. And I remember, I remember now why I didn't try and learn how to counter his death stuff. Because it's just not fucking worth it. I would rather just mash this man's testicles into a fine basil filled paste. Smear it on some bread and call it a day. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to hit him with lightning until he stops moving. Not gonna get close, not gonna try and use the stolen root of dead. <laughs> no! Lightning, dead, gone, thank you. Here comes the wind up and the pitch! See? Can't hit him from there. Ridiculous. Uh-huh, uh-huh, 
and then what happened? Focus mode here. Okay, cool. Don't, don't, don't lock on. Locking on's for squares, man. I gotta do a no parry, no sprint, no dodge, one HP, soul level one challenge run. That's what I'm about. Two more, I think. No, two more that hit. Stay as close as you can to Malakat. That's where he actually suffers. But since I'm using the slow ass lightning bolts, we're just gonna do a little run and uh, a little run fun, fun and run. It's almost like he. Oh, this could be. Ooh, alright, didn't hit me. Right, well, now we're getting close. Oh, shit. side of the world it's like he doesn't know what to do he's like I've never they've never just ran away from me and hit me with lightning do the jump attack ah uh, yep spin spin la 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 ha ha except but then suddenly my god hit him in the face with lightning and he's defenseless sneaky sneaky Oh, he's, he's getting mad now. Oh. Yeah, brother. Pillar power. All right. <laughs> well, we were almost cool. I think one more. The black blade is no more. I oh, don't feel like that, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, Malekith! Oh, he sure does love fucking up a good time! Yo, yo, yo. Wait, you're not allowed to use the pillar? <laughs> oh, alright, GG's. GG's, everybody. Well, we did it by ourselves. We didn't have to use the mimic lasagna, but. Remembrance of the Black Blood! Alright. Now I forget if we have to embrace the rune. I think we do. I think the capital's just ash now. Gideon, Godfrey, Radagon. Yeah, I think four bosses would be a nice 40 minute to two or three hour stream depending on how many times I die. But <laughs> this, this was good. I'm glad to be back. Um, tune in for some, you know, some really cool games coming up. Uh, Slay the Spire, Grounded, maybe State of Decay 2. Um, Dark Souls 3 stream. It's coming eventually. 
Uh, but we are going to finish Mama up very soon. It's been a long time coming. But this, is, this has been a very good stream. I, I feel much better. Um, it really starts to weigh on you after weeks of... I, I mean, I've got an audience of maybe five, ten people on a good day. But it still feels like, man... Like they're waiting for me. Like I haven't been, I haven't been streamed for a month. So uh, I'm happy to be back. I'm hoping that I'll just start streaming. Will you shut up, Inya? None of this is important. No one cares about Death's Dark Fate or these scaly bastards. It's gonna be fun coming back and streaming things. So hey, thanks so much for being here and tuning in if you did. My name is Master Fong. My actual name's Gavin. Big shout out to Monk. Thank you, Monk, for being here as always. You are my ride or die. Uh, love you, son, miss you. And I would l really love to see you all in the next stream, wherever, however that is. I'll be uh, making some messages on my Discord. Maybe, uh, maybe a variety power hour tomorrow. Still gotta show you guys the Minecraft realm we made. I made a really cool windmill and I wanna show that off. Um, that's about it. Thanks everybody for being here. As soon as mama wakes up in the ash and thing, I'm gonna call it quits. Check out Twitch. Oh, actually, you can't really check out Twitch right now. I don't have anything on my Twitch because it's been two weeks and all of my videos have disappeared. Check out my YouTube if you want to see all the other games that I've played or the shenanigans that I've got up to. Uh, maybe, maybe a Smite stream in the future. I've got a lot to say about Smite, guys. They just announced Smite 2. So there's that. We're, we're going to have a lot to talk about there. So maybe a smite stream in the future. Let me uh, touch some grace real quick here. And then I'm going to go get some Advil because I am old. All right. Uh, thank you, Mama. You always bring us light in our darkest of hours. Having slayed the Black Blade, that's it. We, uh... We get, there's nowhere to go now but the world oven where we shall cook and bake the most beautiful lasagna where all will be accepted and loved and mama's story will come to an end for now until the DLC. Take care, everybody. Goodbye and hope to see you next time.